Manchester United lost against Manchester City command the day in the Manchester Derby 3-1. Now this is a game, it's funny because I was expecting the game to start at 11.30am on my end. And when it was 11.30, I went downstairs to watch the game. And I found out that it was half time and they were going to go in the second half. And I noticed that Manchester United leading by one goal and I thought the game was going to start at 11.30. But apparently the game started earlier, obviously. Um, I caught the second half. I didn't watch this, the, the first half, but based on the highlights in the first half, in the first half, Manchester United got a goal on the counter attack. A ball was played into the feet of Bruno Fernandes, and just like a centre forward, just like a target man, he held up the ball. He he was composed. He didn't give it away. You know, he shoot him off and laid the ball to Rashford. One time, Steven Gerrard is shot. Top beans off of the crossbar, and I love I love those type of shots, man. It just goes. Off of the crossbar inside and come out same time. That I love them type of goals. Just gives a brother a mental orgasm. But you would think that Manchester United would have a grab or a hold on the game after that goal, and that was the case. Although I didn't watch the first half for the first half, the second half things change. Man City. I don't know if they implemented this in the first half, but Man City played total football. Basically, all the attacking players are midfield, or the midfield players were all over the place. Man United could not cope with that. And being a position-based side, as they usually are, we can't cope with that anyway. So for them to sit, you know, switch up players in certain positions, even Haaland was dropping a bit deeper, and De Bruyne was pushing a bit higher than him. Phil Foden was coming through the middle on the right-hand side. Bernardo was still over, over, all over the place. And Doku was still on the left-hand side until he got taken off. City was trying to press the life out of us. And they were doing that at a slow, steady pace. Given that they are a ball position side. Now, here's the thing. Phil Foden, on his left foot, he shouldn't have, given, he shouldn't have been given that space to be shooting on his left foot. He should not be. That is a similar goal that one that one Misaka, that Boyaka Saka scored against us last season at Emirates Stadium. Funnily enough, Rashford go score an outside at the box goal against Arsenal last season, and then Boyaka Bukayo Saka was saying, "Man, Rashford ain't nothing. I can do a better shot than Rashford." And him go do the same thing, but it was a better shot than Rashford's own, and it was more in the air, and it was just better. Phil Foden did the same thing today. And Rashford goes going at first half. <laughs> Isn't it so? That type of goal that it goes to show say when the when the when the winger is coming cutting in on his best foot, we can't give him space. And that's because Victor Lindelof is not a natural fullback. But he played left back today. Isn't me? If Luke Shaw was playing left back, would Foden have been given the space to take that shot? Is me if if uh Malasia who has been missing for a time and a bit if he was playing a left back, would he have been given? Would he given, uh, for in that type of space to shoot? I don't think so. So anyway, he got the goal and it was one one. And this is a game. Where, let me let me say something. Before they scored, we we're trying to even try you know try to mimic mirror how Man City was playing. We we're trying to play possession based football, dude. <laughs> I don't know if it's it's quite an insult when a side is trying to do what you're based on, what your side is, what your emo is based on, and you want to try mimic. It's like one of those, um, you know, when you're you know playing track and field and you're running against the fastest person, you know, say slow as hell, but you want to you want to you want to you know channel your inner pace that you don't have it's non-existent but you want to try to be fast as that fast person but you know see, if you're not running against that fast person you're you, you're just not going to exert that effort but you want to try your best against the best that is what's a man city i mean i mean manchester united before they will equalize for us you know trying to have position base against that side it didn't work out it was all for naught they had 60 to 75 percent of the ball so what was what's beneficial of that really? It didn't. The second goal that scored, when Alvarez got the ball in that space in the attacking third and left it to Phil Foden, you know, say Phil Foden was going to score. Phil Foden has been scoring all that type of goal for a good while. That's like a signature goal for him. City is usually known for this. They play the ball inside the box, right inside the box, to a player that's available, and he takes an extra touch. Four post goal. Is me. 
Yeah, so it just goes to show, man, that we, we fell off our square, man. We, 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 and it just goes to show that they were the more dominant side. Because if you look at our attempts at goal, we had two to their 15 or 24 or something. They were bugging shots at us. And let me say this, let me say this. Um I didn't I didn't I didn't um read, I didn't like how um Kobe Man was taken off. He should have he should have seen out that game with Casimiro. He shouldn't have taken been taken off. Because when you go put on um Amrabat, who has been playing much games and he came back from Afcon after him go get knocked out and his bridging go you know you put, go put this bridging in the lake of fire against Manchester City and he's in a position you go Van go give this the ball to 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 Amrabat in a position where he's not a mobile midfielder and you know the City is trying to press us and get another goal and they did just that they go and get the ball of uh, of uh, Amrabat uh Rodri played it into Holland and Holland one time finish it 3-1 so that was a game where we basically gave it to Man City on a platter. They didn't even work for it really. I mean, they you know they put in a bit of effort, but in terms of the goals that they scored, especially the 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 the, the, the third goal they scored. No, the, the the first two goals, eh? You know they work for that goal, but the third goal, man, I'm about man. We we can I know a hey, person are saying that I'm about. He's a defense midfielder. Yes, yes, he's a defense midfielder. But this Bridgen is no Rodri or no Sergio Bus Busquets. He doesn't have the mobile no mobility or the the, the, the the flexibility to be playing that deep to be collecting the ball off at the center back. He's not that type of defense midfielder. He's not that type. He's not that type. If he's playing his back to goal and the players are pressing him, he's going to lose possession. He's not a mobile player. And that is evident. Of what happened in that third goal that we gave we gave to them basically like it was their birthday or something. So it was a game where you know I I basically thought we could have won the game and we could have won the game, but we 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 fell off we fell off in the second half. Let's call it us. We fell off in the second half. We crumbled to the pressure of Man City because they were pressing the life out of us. We couldn't hold the ball for more than five seconds, and they and 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 whenever they got the ball, they were just looking to try get another goal. They had like four attackers on: Phil Foden, Alvarez, De Bruyne, and, and Erling Haaland, and De Bernardo Silva. All of was playing somewhat deeper, yes, me, but they had attacking players like five of them. Yeah, so it wasn't a very pfft, I mean, you know, I was, you know, it was not, it was the best game. But let me know what you think in the comment section below, man. Um, it just goes to show that we are way behind. We are way behind. Like I said, those wins we have been getting, after before our loss against Fulham last week, are flukes, and they're not based off of a style of play. They're individually based, and they're not sustainable. I've said that before. Is me so? Goes to show, say, this is a reality, a reality check for us that those wins, if we are looking to get top four, we, we, these are the type of games that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be losing, especially if we're if we were in front first. And we'll go pull on our pants and, and be known backwards, man, sit and go take the win and get three points. We can't be doing that. Is me? We can't be doing that. So, leave your comments below in the comment section. Um, on our nice performance today. Dude, I don't, I don't even. Know. This, oh no, oh no, it's a wind up. I'll, I'll see that, but I'll, I'll see that, but um, yeah. Let me, let me talk about certain players. Um, Rashford, although he got the goal, he wasn't um the. the I believe Walker fouled Rashford. Is me. I believe Walker fouled Rashford. No, Rashford knew that he wasn't going to get away from Walker that easily, cause Walker ain't slow. Walker is not a slow player. And as fast as Rashford is or are used to, because he's not as explosive, he wasn't going to get past Walker that easily. So he would make a meal out of it and drop to the floor. But it was much contact. But based on the contact made, playing, you know, I believe it was a, sl a, a mild foul, a mild foul. But it wasn't given. In terms of Bruno Fernandes, I mean, I would just watch his second half. And based on the second half, he wasn't inspiring as a captain. 
It wasn't inspired us again. Best our best players was uh Diogo Dolo, although he made a few mistakes. Um Rafael Vran was 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 colossal today. Casemiro was solid. Kobe Mine was very good in the second half. I can imagine how he was in the first half. Um Gonacho, I haven't seen much of Gonacho. I, be, I, be, I believe Gonacho was um, non existent, but that's me. Leave your comments over in the comment section. Let me know what you think on the game. But uh, yeah, that's. We should have we should have at least held out the game. Although, you know, that, that pipe was going to get burst at some point and they were going to equalize at some point. But at least, man, have some proper stronghold. And it goes to show, say. We can if we want if we want to go toe to toe to City and play position based football. There are certain players, individuals in our squad that cannot be playing that type of football. Amrabat, yes, he gave away the mistake, but Amrabat, if you're going to play position based football, you have to be press resistant for no, for no, uh, for one and for two. You cannot be giving the ball away in that type of situation. That's me. So he's not that type of player. Casemiro, I mean Casemiro is a good player, but he's not a position based player in my opinion. Kobe Minor, I believe, can feel that lot. It was just not a good game, man. And don't even get him started on Bruno Fernandes. I didn't even remember Scott McTominay was playing. And I, and I found out that this Bridget was playing as a striker in the first half. Then he goes up in the midfield. Comment down below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on this game. We're expecting Manchester United to win. Or you were, you know, just like most Manchester United fans, expecting to lose this game. You know, I mean, you got to watch We wish because we lost this game. But let me know in the comment section your thoughts. And with that being said, brothers out. Peace.